with movie releases being pushed back and theaters being closed all over the world, it was up to Hollywood to come up with more radical ideas on how to get people to watch these things. Video on demand says hi. I'm old enough to remember pay-per-view, but young enough not to know if it still exists. Usually it was for big events, like a boxing match, or, a, or, or I guess just like a boxing match, that's all I remember. Anyway, now Video On Demand is going to be used to watch new movies that should be going to theaters right on your home TV. What can you possibly complain about, Adam? It seems all peaches and cream right now. And considering the events that are taking place, do we really need to complain about something so trivial? Oh, well, of course not. This, this show's called Adam Rant's Movies, and I'm, tr I'm trying to keep my sanity by pretending everything's okay in the world, and I can still rant about pointless, trivial things like video on demand. So here we go. As of right now, there's only been like half a dozen movies released on this sucker. Onward, which is, I believe, going to Disney Plus next week anyways. Uh, the Hunt, which I don't think anybody was going to see anyways. Invisible Man and as uh, a couple others there, there's a couple others just trust me for the price of 19.99 you can have this theater experience in your living room except for it's not a theater experience and 19.99 is way too much for this i think it's double the price it should be as a matter of fact considering where we are at right now the state of things i think 9.99 is a better value proposition for people now i've been on the the, the messaging boards the chats the, the tweets the streams some of that. And people are saying, hey, it's a great deal, Adam. You're stupid. Being able to watch Trolls 2 with my family at theaters would cost me $50, $60. You know, seven bucks a ticket, plus the ridiculous popcorn price and an icy. And, you know, next thing you know, it's we're, we're just taking out a second mortgage on our house for Trolls 2. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. The theaters are closed. That's why we're going this route. Trolls is also kind of an outlier here. I guess onwards in that mix too, but I wasn't taking four people to hunt. I wasn't taking four people to the Invisible Man or six people or maybe even two. So I think the average for a movie ticket, let's say it's eight bucks. Let's say it's eight. Let's say it's 10 bucks. Okay. 10 bucks. I'm paying double to watch the movie now. Now I'm paying double in an economy that's breaking where people can't afford their health insurance and they can't afford to get food on the table because they don't have jobs right now. That's the difference. It's not like Hollywood did this six months ago where they're like, let's, let's try this new radical idea where we'll bring movies in theaters home for audiences and they can pay 20 bucks just to watch it, not to, not to own it later, just to rent it. That's a novel idea, sure, okay, fine. I, I think it's, it's too much, but I would, I would use it when I thought it was appropriate to get that value. Like, oh my God, new Avengers movies coming out? That, that's four tickets. I'm, I'm saving a lot of money here by just paying this $20 fee. And the argument I'm seeing a lot of is they're not going to make money on $10. They have to make it $20. But, but is that true? Like, I get, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at, at, at the math. I'm not good at the numbers game. Okay, but, but if you put it out at $20 and you get one family to watch, as opposed to putting it out at $10 and you maybe get like 10 families to watch, like that ratio seems like you might have actually made more money by offering it at a lower rate, you know, because of the, the, the demand is, is increased. The amount of people is increased. So my proposition is an easy one. Drop that rate, cut in half, put it down to 9.99. You have a buyer here. I haven't done one of these VODs. I haven't seen the need to. Nothing's really tickled my fancy. Now, yes, Trolls 2, once again, that, that, that's kind of the outlier. I, I wouldn't say Onward is, because that's coming to Disney Plus in a week or two. Um, but still, it's Trolls 2. I mean, what are, we, what are we really getting out of this one? I feel like you're flushing your money down the toilet regardless. And I get that this is kind of a trial by fire. Maybe they will adjust pricing. Maybe they'll come up with some sort of a subscription model. I don't know if they can really do that, though, because they're different studios, so they'd have to have their own models. Unless there was a, a third-party, like, app that was... Like, if AMC came out with a digital app, you know, and you'd pay a certain amount a month, and then you'd get access to these new in theater films, but that would be an expensive app, I feel like, for AMC to make any sort of profit. But whatever, you know, we're, we're, we're trying things out. I am happy that they are at least trying to get movies to us. Even in the perfect scenario where people are done getting sick and, and they're working again, we have money. $20, is that the same as the theater? I don't think it is. You're losing out on some of the quality, some of the charm of going to the theater. There's no denying that going to the cinema in that perfect atmosphere of people cheering on the film, laughing along with you, 
uh, getting scared along with you and just seeing the giant screen filled, beautiful glory with the audio crisp sound in your ears, possibly reclined heated seats, a popcorn, a Coke. I mean, for, for my money, it doesn't get any better. And that's what I'm really paying for. It's not so much being a lazy slob eating a ton of calories and, and just vegging out for two and a half hours. It's, it's the fact that I feel I'm pretending at least, I'm giving myself the illusion that I'm going out on the town, I'm contributing, I'm being part of society. You take that part away and, you know, I'm just at home in my sweatpants, like a pile of crap. Well, you know, watching Trolls 2 with my family who I don't really like. So it's, it's just a, it's just a lose-lose there. I don't want to spend $20 on that experience. I can get that experience for free.